Hi everyone, this tutorial video has been brought to you by Super Web Solutions. We are a web design and development agency based in Philadelphia, PA, and we are an official partner of CSCART. We are going to be showing you a demo video of the administrative dashboard interface of CSCART Multi Vendor Edition 4.0. I would like to highlight that this edition is also a similar interface to the standard CSCART uh, edition which is not a multi-vendor so the multi-vendor edition as well as the standard CSCART edition have both got similar interfaces um, last but not least this video should help anybody who is new to CSCART and is trying to understand the features of the, of the dashboard and it should also help new potential CS card customers who are considering developing and designing a website in CS card and you can kind of get a uh, an understanding of how easy CS card has been built and if you have any questions or anything you would like to comment at the end of this video please post your comments uh, at the below comment section in YouTube thank you and enjoy for this tutorial video I'm going to be showing you an admin panel of one of our newest clients who is currently nearly complete we've nearly completed the website in development it's about maybe three or four months away from launch and um, they're officially going to be launching a website in January I think and that company is called the T marketplace I'm gonna log into the admin and again this is a multi vendor website so I'm logged into CS Cart, and as you can see, you can see the main dashboard. So I'm going to be going through some of the features on this dashboard to show you some of the things here. As you can see up here, we have dashboard, which is titled dashboard. There is five sections below here, and I'm going to explain each one of these sections right here. We have order history, which basically shows you a total number of orders. We have sales, which shows you your total amount of sales. You have taxes, which is the amount of taxes that's been spent. You have abandoned and live carts. For some people who don't know what this is, abandoned and live carts means basically if a customer is in a session on your website and they have added one of, one of several products and they abandon the cart, meaning they do not proceed with the sale. This is classified as an abandoned cart. There's two things that are really good with CS Cart, which a lot of other versions don't offer within the actual platform. If a registered user on your website has logged in and he has added products to his cart or their cart, if they've abandoned that cart, CS Cart will track and it will load data within your admin panel telling you if certain customers who are registered on your website have abandoned their cart. What you can also do is you can send them a follow-up email to let them know they have items ready to check out in their cart. This uh, benefits in, 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 in quite a few ways. You're reminding the customer that they need to go and purchase the product that they added so that they don't forget. And it leads to a lot more conversions. So CS Card do have a function built in the admin panel where you can remind abandoned live carts for customers. For unregistered users, you can you have no way of identifying who they are. So you can't really do much about that. But um, the, the third thing that this tells you as well, if, if there's any issues with any design related issues or if a customer is not trying to, if, if a customer is finding it hard to use your website, this data could also tell you if there's anything wrong with your website in terms of you know usability issues so just want to explain a little bit about that next sec section is visits this tells you how many visits there has been now the all of this data is based on these dates august 19th to, se to september 18th now if you want to change the date range you can CS Car offer different date ranges today, yesterday, last seven days, last 30, and as you can see, you know, there's a couple of other options. You can also do a custom range. You can go back last year 
and you can compare different you know statistics in terms of sales and taxes etc so let's just say show you an example here I'm gonna go to July 1st to September 18th I'm gonna click apply and as you can see it's loading right here and as you can see the data is now changed so this data is based on these dates now so that's that section the next section is we have is recent orders recent orders is basically broken down really simply as you can see there's a red uh, icon here that says open this means that the product the order is actually still open it hasn't been completed and it hasn't been processed so in order for this to change you need to update the actual order and process the order that way the customer will get notified as well by email that the order has been processed and um, you can also click this as well which will open up the order details like the invoice the cost what item the ordered etc and um, it will also tell you the customer's name date time of order and total amount and you can click these sections it will tell you which orders have been processed which have been completed which are open which have been failed and which have been declined statistics basically uh, shows you two things sales and visits so you can view this through you know a chart instead of looking at it with an actual number so it's pretty um, you know important data that it shows you on CS cart it's highly uh, visual and it's, it, it's really simple to use the next section I'm going to show you which again CS cart have really thought outside the box compared to other e-commerce platforms like Magento and OpenCart as you can see it shows you how many active products you have on the website so this kind of gives you a quick overview of how many actual active products you have on this site so we have 14 we have one out of stock product we have 27 registered users we have 76 categories 55 vendors 11 web pages so it's it's pretty cool data to be looking at you know straight from the dashboard down here we have the top five search terms within the website down here again uh, a basic overview of the order st by status and then recent activity so that's a basic overview of the dashboard within CS cart and as you can see it's really simple and it, it's got some really important data that you might want to know straight away without clicking all of these buttons and trying to find out things so if you have any questions at all please feel free to contact us and um, if you want to again if you want to comment on YouTube then comment or please feel free to call us we will be more than happy to um, answer any questions or set up a consultation with you our e website address is right here at the bottom left and our phone number is in the bottom right hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day